calling you a radical, this is beyond giant news. So this is historic video. Get it backed up. Really historic. It just proves who runs the world. Kevin Blanche's historic, incredible work. All verified. All verified. And anybody who's gone after me, slandered me, attacked me, the university professor circle. I used to be a professor right here. Where? At the Wattis School of Business? Yeah, that Wattis. G Wattis? G? Yep, yep, yep. Number one school of business. I'm a butcher. What's a cow? I'm a environmental economist. I'm a Weber State environmental economist. I'm a Weber State zoologist. I'm a Weber State biologist at Weber State at Cal Berkeley at San Diego State at any of the institutions. I work for NOAA. I work for the EPA. I'm a butcher. What's a cow? I'm a baker. What's a cake? I'm a biologist. I'm a zoologist. I'm an environmental economist. The number one, well, it's last now. What's Fukushima? So 18,000 becquerels per kilogram in the fish caught off Fukushima last month. Per kilogram, 18,000 becquerels of cesium-137. Now, why do we use cesium-137 of all the isotopes? Why don't we use Livermorium, California, Tennessee, you know, so many posts. We're going to get the pyramid filled at Livermore. Yeah, I'm Livermore, California, bringing star power to Earth. Breaking news, fish swim. Breaking news, jet stream moves left to right. This is this year, just now. 18,000 becquerels. Let's, why do we use cesium-137 all the ice? Because we know it comes from a nuclear fission event. It's That's what it comes from. We know that. It's not natural. And we know that its half-life is short. It is the thumbprint of a continuing nuclear disaster. At Chernobyl, they entombed it. At Fukushima, they ignored it. They covered it up. I mean, remember Obama standing on the White House lawn in 2017. The plume is coming over. I'll keep your breast. Know what we know. The scientists say is not dangerous. And he's flown to South America later that day on March 17, 2011. Radnet was taken down, including off this dish. Radnet, what's that? Radiation detection device all over the country. They took, they crashed it. They took it offline. They took the dishes down. They crashed it. You couldn't have access. Hillary Clinton's emails, whether they were Hummer or Hillary's, don't go outside, take a shower, be safe, wash your clothes. I got to go talk to Henry before I go to Fukushima. Retraction. Then Obama, his, then Trump gets in, meets with that B. Maybe what, I mean, First person at mar largo Meets with him 17 times. Black out the windows at mar largo You think they're talking about their golf game? I asked Trump from here to there. What about Fukushima? You going to talk about Fukushima when he's running? It made Salt Lake Fox News. Yes. Did he? Did he? Did he? Now, who runs this? And you read this. You eat one of those fish. And breaking news, fish swim. Breaking news, fish caught off those coasts come into the U.S. markets. It's unarguable. Breaking news, jet stream moves left to right. Breaking news, ocean currents move left to right. The bridge from Fukushima, an entire overpass, made it to Gold Beach, Oregon in six days. But you can quit. I'm going to quit you. And so what their answer has been to go after Kevin Blanche. I'm the only person on earth that called these full blown out meltdowns from the day. I wrote so many papers in there about Mach 1, Mach 2s. I knew Dr. Cooley, the legendary finest person. Well, I've always thought his death was suspicious. You know, right before we got our MBA. Kevin, you keep going after the nuclear industry. Dr. Matson, you keep going after the nuclear industry. They're going to come after you. They're going to... Well, what happened to both those two? Died young of cancer. Very young. Well, not cancer. Kyle Matson. Clyde Cooley, two weeks before the MBA program. Number one in the country. Something to tax his brain. I've always thought his death was suspicious. This is such a giant story because at the same time they're reporting that the tank water has been flushed into the canal and ready to be released. Now, remember, this sees him showing up this fish before the tank water was released. The tank water fallacy, the Lambeth, the fairy tale, the ice wall freaking, you know, that's all what it is. It's a propaganda machine. That's all it's ever been is a propaganda machine to cover this up. This is a giant, giant, giant story. I'm an environmental economist. I'm a biologist. I'm a zoologist. That the number one school of business in the country was, what's Fukushima? <laughs> it just exposes the corruption and everybody's went along with the winning team. 
It's unbelievable. <laughs> if this doesn't shock you and just expose this corruption and these lies, something's a matter with your brain. Something's really a matter with your brain. I mean, this is such a big story. Again, this is the same day that this is reported, that they're reporting the water's been flushed out of the tanks into the canal, ready to be released. These fish were caught before any release. They're releasing right here, right now, off the tanks, but they've been releasing the whole time. So this just, I mean, again, I cannot overstate it. This exposes the incredible corruption. Now, why? CZM 137. Why season 137? Because we know it comes from it. We don't have to go back to your freshman orientation, do we? And understand what background levels are, what an isotope is, what the digestion moves left, right, the fish swim, you know, that the Japanese current runs into the California current. Obama was flown out of the country after he gave that speech. I want to keep you abreast. Then he, he doesn't mention it again until right before he leaves office on Jimmy Kimball. And he says, you ever get a call for in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, I got calls. Like when? Like when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimball. Bim, 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 bim. What's Fukushima? What? You know, the typhoon. Obama calls it a typhoon. Rahm Emanuel's the ambassador in Japan. He was in the situation. How about John Holdren? Make it so? Hoskar, right? That second interview that Holdren did with her that exposed the fraud of inside the situation room. Gregory Jacko, head of the NRC, who cowered down in the corner. Everybody's gone along with this cover-up and this fairy tale. If this doesn't prove to you, 18,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium-137 Iraqfish caught in 2023. It's an ongoing event. It's the greatest event. This is cesium-137 only comes from an event, nuclear energy. Half-life short. Hello. It's an ongoing event. The course. And then you think it's a coincidence the tide pools wipe out? You think it's a coincidence the heat bubble will overshine? You think it's a coincidence the well collapse, the salmon collapse? We have all the empirical data. You can deny this is the greatest PhD in human history. Kevin Bryant's the only person on earth that called these full blown out meltdowns. This is a giant, this story is so gigantic. And what they did to me, their answer was to water. Just the fact that I went to a bone marrow transplant center on 11 11 11, give you two months to live. Slander, attack, which are felonies in all 50 states. I've been internet kettle. Google's done everything you can imagine to me. I mean, everybody has. I mean, I'm not walking the coast. All these, you know, propagandists are putting my videos on their websites to sell bunkers and iodine pills, whatever. Never sent me five cents. I mean, I'm owed so many apologies. I am owed so many apologies. It's unbelievable. You know, everybody that went along with this cover up. Here it is. Here it is. This is such a giant, giant story. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a Weber State Economics Environmental. Look up, they're under investigation by the FBI. I'm a zoologist. I'm a biologist. I work for NOAA. I work for the EPA. I'm a science professor. What's Fukushima? It's disgusting. So the cover up of this event is the greatest crime in human history history bar none this is the greatest event and you're trying to tell me kevin blanche is probably the greatest scientist well since einstein and einstein was banned from the manhattan project einstein went after nuclear energy harder than anybody he predicted all this what they've done to me you know this is the greatest ph what am i gonna do stay in that place and let them buy my phd into the j store ask Aaron Schwartz. Greatest PhD in human history. What do I get for it? Oh, well, I got medical bills for multi millions of dollars. Stay in the bone marrow transplant center. Rip me open, pour me out. Open heart surgery twice. This story is so gigantic. And the fact that I'm at Idaho National Lab, why it's happening. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? It's fucking unbelievable, is what it is. It is unbelievable. <laughs> the water school business. We were number one, and I got railroaded. For what?
This story is so gigantic. Read it. Multiple sources are reporting it now, and like I said, this is before they flush. The flush tank fallacy, this, and everybody's gone along. We're afraid of nuclear meltdowns. We're afraid of nuclear meltdowns until they happen. Then it's seen no on nuclear energy either. Smell no nuclear energy. Taste no nuclear energy. Speak no nuclear energy. Hear no the nuclear energy. The nuclear energy emperors. They have no fucking clothes. The story's so gigantic, it's unbelievable. Fuck, I think about the path that I've gone through and what they've done to me over the years. Fucking, it's unbelievable. Fuck, they've raised PhD in human history. Stand to.